it's a good question and valid question because clearly as we sort of um, hopefully sort of get out of the lockdown um, as the pandemic slowly comes to an end and um, you know certain certain aspects of our lives return to how they were back in 2019 there might be some headwinds for some of these businesses that have um, have um, you know have done quite well over the last 12 months or so but the flip side is I think what we've seen actually is a, a realization that actually some of the services that Google provides its customers have a lot of value, provide a lot of value to them, deliver a good return on investment for advertisers. And I think advertisers will stick with um, these shifts that, they've, that, that, that are taking place into the digital world. And Google and some of the other digital platforms will be the beneficiaries of those. Now, Jeremy, within Alphabet, it wasn't just Google search, which saw a very strong quarter, but YouTube saw a pretty extraordinary growth of nearly 50 percent. I struggle to understand how YouTube fits in among the other video uh, services. Who do you see as YouTube's main competitors moving forward? Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, um, it's a good question. I mean, in terms of where it fits in, I mean, clearly it is about advertising, advertising platforms advertising media through digital channels. So whether that's keyword search, which is Google's traditional business, or search tied in with video distribution, which is what the YouTube business is, um, there are some similarities there and, and Google are an expert in that field. Um, in terms of YouTube's competitors, it's hard to discern exactly who the competitors are here. Um, in some ways, you're not going to YouTube in order to watch a a feature length movie or uh, a, a, a series as you might be going to Netflix or Disney Plus to do those things. Um, videos tend to be more shorter form, um, you know, but it's different for different people. Um, there's a lot of informational videos on YouTube which are useful if you're trying to learn how to do something. Um, there are, you know, music videos on YouTube. Um, yeah, there's there's people who blog um, or video blog information on, on YouTube. So it's different material for different audiences. And I think that's why there's sort of widespread um, demand for, for that platform. And advertisers will get something different depending on what type of content they're attaching their adverts right. to.